Okay, the next two urban dynamics we're going to look at today are urban renewal and urban decay, and we're going to learn what they are and their effects on Sydney. Um, urban decay, let's start with this first. This is when an area has become disused, abandoned or neglected. Um, until the mid-1960s, the city experienced urban decay. Um, so what that meant was that a lot of manufacturing left for the suburbs, and a lot of people followed those jobs and left the houses. As a result, um, residential areas deteriorated um, and buildings were left and abandoned. So that's what urban decay is. Um, we've got some pictures here. This is of Cockatoo Island. This is what urban uh, decay looks like. We've got a shipping yard. Obviously, that big crane is not used anymore. And then, of course, in the rocks, the old terraced housing. Um, this is urban decay. Um, urban renewal is then taking those decayed areas and gentrifying. Gentrifying means an area that's become renovated and um, as a result it's attracted new people into the area. Often higher income earners in professional and managerial um, occupations. So the areas like the rocks, very expensive, only a small amount of people can afford to live there. Um, some of these um, renewal schemes that like I'm going to show you pictures of, like Barangaroo, um, have attracted a lot of people in there and populations have gone back there um, to live. So we've actually seen an increased number of people living in the CBD because of urban renewal. Um, all the pictures I'm showing you now are obviously from the field trip and you can see um, along the, the, the the dock side, the harbour side, um, areas of urban renewal. We've got these old industrial um, places um, that have been um, rebuilt um, into luxury apartments for um, professional people who live in the CBD. Um, this is Darling Harbour. Um, again, you can see um, flats here with restaurants underneath. Okay, so since the late 1980s, there's been an increase in investment and population growth in the inner city. This is because um, younger people, younger professional people, want someone to live rather than commute from the suburbs. As you can see there, since 1996, the increase in population in CBD has increased by 12.6%. Um, this has basically dramatically increased property values and led to a number of multi-storey apartments, as well as clearing of terraced houses like the rocks. Okay, that's urban renewal and urban decay.